just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until the government fesses up to the vast conspiracy. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Don't touch our wrench, Tron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. It's the S&D diner. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. It's a dime just lying there. ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. It's the back door to the diner. 
What a mess. It's locked. Pretty disgusting. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. It's just a stack of empty boxes. I can't open that. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. 
You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I'm going to look around your store. It's Anne. I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. I'm not big on keeping rodents as pets. Do you know my cousin Bernie? It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like beep card. Jeez. Do you know my cousin Bernie? It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. It's an I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. Let me know if I can help you find anything. I'd play if it were a sure thing. If I had something to mail, this might work. Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes happy people. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. I'm here to serve. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Let me know if I can help you find anything. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little doodat. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm going to look around your store. I'd rather wait for the hotel bathroom. No way am I gonna look in there. I can smell it from here.
One sheet is enough. Ugh. They're all used up. That's a huge toilet. Seems out of scale. <laughs> I look good. Employees must always wash their hands. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened to him. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Hmm, huh. hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. It's made of plastic. No murder here. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. Looks like someone knew I was gonna get stuck down here. Unless... My kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. It's a payphone. Insert dime to make a call. I can't turn it. That grate won't come off. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Reyes. Agent Ray, I have sort of a situation here. <sighs> of course you do, rookie.
What the hell happened? You better not be screwing up my case, Reyes. I'm not. I swear. I was in the alley behind the diner looking for clues, totally following agent protocol, and I was jumped. They knocked me out cold. Are you okay? No injuries that will require you to stop working the case? I don't think so. Damn. Not bleeding out and about to die or anything? I thought that playable characters couldn't die in adventure games. That depends on who was making them. But unfortunately, I think you'll be all right. Did you get a look at the guy who whacked you? No. They hid me from behind, so I never saw their face. Might not have even been a guy. Good point. A girl could easily take your scrawny ass out. Hey! So we're looking for a suspect of unknown gender, age, race, height, and weight. Great job as always, Agent Reyes. Have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah, I had a look around. I can't see any exits, but there is a phone down there. Great. Did you call someone? I can't. It's a pay phone and I don't have any dimes on me. Get out of the way, Reyes. I'll drop you a dime. Any luck finding a way out? How's the smell down there? It's not pleasant. Try not to get any crap on your suit. If I have to spend the rest of the evening with you, I prefer you not smell like raw sewage. I think it's a little late for that. How's the rat situation? They haven't gnawed your face off yet, have they? What? Rats can do that? Oh, sure. Rats love eating human flesh. Anda el diablo! You gotta help me! I'll do what I can. In the meantime, sit tight and tuck your pant legs into your socks. That's how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to panic, Reyes. P panic I'm not panicking. Just because there are flesh-eating rats and raw sewage in here. And gators, germs, toxic fumes, and a risk of the tunnels collapsing? So yeah, I'm totally not panicking. I am as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be here if you need me.
Looks like someone knew I was gonna get stuck down here. Unless... My kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out. Sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. There's a dime in the coin return. That doesn't seem to work. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone? Thanks. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Ah, oh, hello, Sheriff. Am I glad to see you? This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office of Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Good advice, Sheriff, but can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. Oh, I will need to blindfold you. Ah, uh, nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. We should split up. Oh, my notebook. I thought I'd lost that for good. These means a lot to me. Thanks.